Hello, Tri Cities, and welcome to the 2021 Vote for Business Candidate Forum, the only region wide business focused candidate forum in the Tri Cities, brought to you by the Tri City Regional Chamber of Commerce. In this forum, you'll be hearing from Port of Benton Commissioner Jane Haggerty. Her opponent, Lori Stevens, declined the invitation to participate. I am Tracy Dial with KNDU. I'm so pleased to be with you today. Voting begins as ballots start appearing in mailboxes on October 13th and will continue through Election Day coming up quickly on Tuesday, November 2nd. Thank you for joining us to learn about Commissioner Haggerty's thoughts and positions on issues that impact our local economy and business community. And now a message from the president and CEO of the Tri-City Regional Chamber of Commerce, Lori Matson. Thank you. I'd like to take a brief moment to thank the Chamber's Board of Directors and our Local Government Affairs Committee for their leadership in supporting the advocacy efforts of the Regional Chamber, and especially our sponsors, AYB Drafting, Cascade Natural Gas, and Hayden Homes. The Chamber supports positions that preserve and promote a positive business climate. As the foremost advocate and voice for business, the Chamber leads the region by advancing policies and positions that strengthen business and improve the local economy and quality of life. The 2021 Vote for Business Candidate Forum is designed to highlight how candidate positions integrate with local business priorities. And finally, a very special thank you to our local news partners for collaborating on this project. Your time, talent, and expertise are valued and truly appreciated. Now a word from one of our sponsors. Hi, I'm Gina Donangelo with Hayden Homes and I'm excited to be here today. Hayden Homes has been building for over 30 years and is a proud member of the Tri-City Regional Chamber. We are also proud to sponsor the Vote for Business campaign this year. Local elections are important to our business so please remember to vote. Thanks for watching. Thank you. It is truly a pleasure for KNDU and myself to help support this effort to inform our voters about the people who are running for public office. So here is how the rules will go for this candidate forum. Opening and closing statements are limited to one minute. Response time for each question limited to two minutes. Time limit reminders will appear on screen at 10 seconds remaining and if necessary, when time is up with a stop sign. We are now ready to get started. Let's begin by introducing Port of Benton Commissioner District 3, incumbent Jane Haggerty. Welcome Jane and thank you so much for taking the time to do this. We so appreciate you. If you're ready to go, would you like to get started? I most certainly would, thank you. As your port commissioner, I am committed to serving you by supporting locally grown business, recruiting industrial and commercial companies, collaborating with partners to create economic prosperity in the region, and maintaining multimodal transportation networks along with the growth of the Richland and Prosser airports. Working with my fellow commissioners, we have created jobs and directly supported our economy by leveraging Previously, um, previously owned federal land and buildings for local economic development. We were the first port in the state to build develop incubator buildings to support the startup of small businesses. I believe in a diverse economic development focus ranging from agribusiness, transportation, high tech research, and education to advance manufacturing, clean energy, and tourism. Thank you, Ms. Haggerty. Now let's move on to the questions. Question number one, and again, you have two minutes. What do you see as the greatest challenge currently being faced by local businesses in your port district? And what can you do as port commissioner to ensure a vibrant regional economy? Getting our main street businesses back is critical to our, our communities. I am committed to developing locally grown businesses, collaborating with our partners to create economic prosperity in the region. The port has been meeting with our partners, the cities, the chambers and economic development agencies within our region, as well as with our tenants to listen to their needs and to make connections when requested. Sharing the latest information and changes throughout this pandemic has been an important piece of our communication with our tenants and our partners. 
Currently, our team is working with Visit Tri-Cities as the host location for an international travel writers conference to highlight our local wineries, culinary professionals, and history of the region. This event was planned for 2021, but due to COVID-19, it is now set for April of 2022. Thank you, Jane. Question number two, how does the movement of commerce through our community benefit the regional economy and what specific next steps will you take as Port Commissioner to protect and expand those opportunities? Movement of goods and services um, uh, has to be an integrated system between our rail and barging. Our dams are a very important piece to this uh, to our economy, giving us our low energy rates, which provide essential support in advancing manufacturing, clean energy, and of course, value-added agriculture. Our lower Snake River dams have grain coming through their ports from North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, and those are coming into our ports in our region, loading the grain onto barges and bringing them down the river to our coastal ports. Rail alone cannot support the ag products coming into our inland ports. Thus, that integrated system of rail and barge is an essential piece of the region's transportation system. Our Prosser and Richland airports add to the quality of life of many people in our district, but a very important piece to both airports is the emergency airlift system that services both locations. Having light flight at both airports is another essential service to the region uh, uh, and to the port and the port is honored to, to offer this feature. We are in the process right now of, of just finishing a taxi lane in Prosser and the next phase there will be to add two heliports which will help with having a designated spot for life flight helicopters, but also having a helicopter, a helipad, excuse me, uh, located there so that we can also be able to uh, so continue supporting our ag business in the valley. Thank you. Next question. Does your vision for the future of the Port District align with the Port of Benton's as outlined in the goals and strategies of the 2020 to 2030 strategic plan, please explain. The Port of Benton engaged our economic development um, uh, partners, tenants, and our team to, in developing our strategic plan. As a port commissioner, I see our efforts being driven by community input to derive projects that solve issues and create economic prosperity for the region. We are cur currently in a design stage for a permanent home for the Hanford History Project, the Manhattan National Park Visitor Center, along with the USS Triton sale. We've completed our port's maintenance a software program to ensure and be proactive in our approach to all of our property assets and facilities. Working on opportunities to improve our railroad crossings along our 16 miles of short line rail is a project that we will be partnering with. This $8 million project should be ready in 2022. We just begin, uh, we just completed our partnership with WSU Tri-Cities on the reopening of the Clark Center. As part of this partnership, WSU will offer seminars, events, and coursework at the facility for both its students and the public under its continuing education and workforce development program. This is bringing professors with a wealth of knowledge in wine, culinary, and hospitality business management. Both the port and the community of Prosser is honored to have WSU join us in this educational opportunity for the area. Thank you. Time now for our final question. The My Tri 2030 Regional Vision Project is a community-driven effort to drive collaborative action. How do you see the ports, cities, and counties collaborating, coming together to solve shared problems and advance regional initiatives? 
Well, I believe in a re in a regional vision th that it's imperative to, to, to be there for that continued growth with all of our partners. The recent announcement by X Energy, Grant PUD, and the Energy Northwest's Advanced Reactor Demonstration is a perfect example. The port, along with our economic development partners, have been visionary leaders and provided essential support on the Enchil excuse me, on the Energy Council and leading the Mid-Columbia Energy Initiatives Nuclear Subcommittee. Currently, our team is working with both groups to obtain a state grant to further evolve these initiatives and form an, an industry alliance. Our partner will play a vital role, our partnership, excuse me, will uh, play a right, vital role in Washington's clean energy future my focus will remain on manufacturing clean energy and value added agriculture. Thank you. And that concludes the question and answers. Commissioner Haggerty, you do have time for a one minute closing statement. Thank you. Uh, when elected, I will continue to serve my constituents and seek new and ongoing partnerships, providing visionary leadership as an economic development team player. I'm committed to keep taxes low. Over the last 11 years, we have decreased our taxes by 14%. I will continue seeking your input in ensuring your tax dollars are used efficiently and effectively, investing in our people, our communities, and our future. For over 45 years, I have worked to improve our community and region as a volunteer community leader 26 years as your port commissioner. As a proven leader with the port, I have been instrumental in creating and furthering the multiple partnerships and visionary leadership that sets the Port of Benton apart. Thank you and see you on November 2nd. Thank you, Jane. And we so appreciate you taking the time to be with us for the Tri-City Regional Chamber of Commerce's 2021 Candidate Forum. And thank you for having me. As we begin the countdown to election day coming up, as Jane mentioned, on November 2nd, please remind your friends in the Port District to watch, share, and get out the vote. You can find this video and other candidate forum videos on the Tri-City Regional Chamber of Commerce website. That is www.tricityregionalchamber.com. Again, thank you to the Chamber for hosting this, KDU, Commissioner Haggerty, and all of the sponsors, including Cascade Natural Gas, AYB Drafting, and Hayden Homes. A special thanks to you for watching. This is Tracy Dial with KDU News, reminding you to vote.